why would we want to have such a meeting to pray when we could just pray by ourselves or we could pray in twos and threes? Why do we need this third level of prayer where we, we have a meeting together? Say that we have 20 of us. Wouldn't, it just, wouldn't, wouldn't there be more done if we all just split up and all prayed at the same time? Or is it better that we come together? Because when we come together, usually only one person is praying at a time. Maybe that seems inefficient. I don't know. <laughs> one simple illustration is, you know, if we had a 2,000 pound object here and uh, one by one we had 10,000 people come and try to push it, chances are almost nobody would be able to push it. Mm -hmm. But if you just put maybe like, you know, 20 people together and they all pushed at the same time, then uh, suddenly you would be able to, you would be able to move, mm. move the weight. Yeah. So there's something about coming together to pray where um, instead of just all individually trying to push something out of the way or remove obstacles to the Lord's move, uh, when we come together to pray, there is a, last week we called it, I think Michael mentioned the word synergy, where um, you know one person can do so much and another person can do so much, but when you put them together, they can do more than double of what uh, they could do individually. In the Bible, there's a, there's, in fact, there's like a five-fold increase. One chase a thousand and two chase ten thousand. Mm -hmm. So it's like exponential wow. increase when we gather together to pray. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's the point. We want to cover uh, four, I think it's four or five points tonight. Some practical points of what, it, what, what we should do when we come together to pray. Say like all of us in this room are going to pray together. Okay, well how does that work? Um, so that brings us to the next verse, Acts 1, 14 and 15. It says that they, that they were all continuing, right, in prayer. And they were continuing in one accord, mm. in one accord. Yeah. And so what, what, does, what does one accord mean? Um, it just means, it really means inward harmony. In fact, the Bible uses this word harmony as well. And you know, um, like, like just tonight we had two guitars, right? And uh, say, say like one, if there's just one string, that there's six strings on the guitar, right? If there's just one string that's like a little bit off tune, it will ruin the harmony of the whole guitar. Mm. Even if the other five strings are perfectly in tune, yeah. it just takes that one string to be a little bit off mm. and it'll make it sound like pretty bad. Um, so harmony just indicates kind of in being in tune with one another. You know, there, there's this, there's this uh, example of, of uh, this team, this basketball team called the Dream Team, um, in 1992, and uh, they had uh, like the top NBA players, of, of, I mean, Hall of Famers like Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson. I mean, these guys were like, you know, superstars, and of of their time. And uh, what happened was uh, the coach of of the Dream Team arranged to have a scrimmage with some college, some college ball players, and um, so. They, I, I think it worked, went like this, but the, the coaching staff had worked with the college ball players to help them play as a team. But with the NBA superstars, they, they didn't. And they substituted in a way that was kind of against teamwork. But these guys are really good. I mean, they were, there was nobody even close to them in the world. Yet, uh, when they played against these college kids, the college kids actually beat them in the, in the first scrimmage that they had. And uh, the reason is because they weren't working together as a team. As good as they were individually, because there wasn't an element of teamwork, um, they, they lost to people who were much worse than them. Mm -hmm. But the people who were much worse did a lot better because they were playing as a team. And you know, it can be the same way in our prayer. Perhaps the most important thing is in prayer, in a group like this, is, is the one accord. And it is like having a flow in the prayer. You know what I mean? Well, there's no designated person to go next. I might pray, then Angel, then Chantil, Angela, whatever. But the Lord is flowing and the Lord's moving. And it's instead of being 
four separate prayers. It's actually one joint prayer. Amen. And that's what's powerful to allow the Lord's purpose to be fulfilled.